So over here, you can see that I have a blank canvas to work with. And now let's see how we can work around with frame and image holder. So on the left side, you can see that there's this little icon frame and image holder. And once I click on it, what happens is that I can add a frame. So it says, do you want to add a new frame layer? So I'm just going to say add and there you go. I can go around and this is the frame. I can resize it and place it wherever I want. So now the first thing that I want to do is set image. So on the top, you can see set image is, um, is an option. So once you click on this, now you can see that it opens up uh, your explorer window and you can select out a picture of your choice. So I'm just going to select the Sally Bird image and click on open. So there you go. This is my frame right here. So you can place it wherever you want. You can resize it. You can rotate it just like this. So now if you were to go around into, let's say toggle, then you can see that you can go around and change uh, how this actually is fit. So you can go around right here, place it wherever you want and then fit it out according to how you like it. You can resize it, keep it over here and just like this, click outside. Click on this and now what you can do is you can work around with the shape as well. So you want to go with this shape, this shape or this shape. You can select out the shape you want to work with just like that. Go around over here, go around over here and there you go. So go around into, uh, let's say for example, toggle and you can place it out wherever you want. So now once you uh, do that, you can see that on the top there are different styles. So you can go around over here and then add in some styles according to what you like. So you can go around into style, go to outline right here, and then you can choose the color. So let's say, for example, if I were to go into uh, yellow right here, press OK. There you go. There's the yellow outline. You can go around over here and choose something else. Just like this, choose the color of your choice, press OK. And there you go. You can go around, increase and decrease the size of the color as well, and even add a shadow to the effect, as you can see. So there's the shadow right there. You can go around over here on to color, choose the shadow color as well, according to how you like it. So you can go around over here, go to, let's say, for example, brown. And there you go. That is what you have. You can increase the brown color or decrease the brown color right here. So you can increase and decrease this out. You can go around with the shadow and so forth. Another thing that you can do is you can go around and add new uh, frame right here as well. Set image. I'm going to just select Dave Singh right here. And I'm just going to resize this out over here as well. And I can toggle this to move this downward. And there you go. So you can go around with the shape that you want. So let's say, for example, this one or this one or this one, as you can see. So you can go around onto this one, go around into style, shadow, and then you can go around onto outline. Let's say, for example, go around over here. There you go. And then over here, you can see that you can add new or you can duplicate this out as well. So let's say I want to duplicate this. I can go to duplicate and you can see that a copy is there. So you can go around and place it wherever you want and create wonderful effects uh, by using the frame and the image holder, as you can see. So that is how you can use the frame as image holder uh, tool inside of Pixlr E. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.